What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys some more ranked competitive double battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves a great team for you guys. Look what we have for you guys today. We got ourselves a Swift Swim Seismitoad team. Yes, sir. Swift Swim Seismitoad. Definitely a cool Pokemon. This is going to pair well with this Kyogre alongside with this Live Bureau Cinderace. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. Seriously, it goes a long way. Shout out to all my subscribers. You guys are real ones. You guys are the real ones. But let's get started today with the team preview in that top of corner. The reason why I picked this team was Seismitoad right here. It's got Swift Swim, doubles its speed and rain, and it has Life Orb. Definitely a cool Swift Swim Pokemon and definitely uh, doesn't get as much love as it deserves considering, you know, there's Kingdra and Ludicolo, which definitely outshine it a little bit. But I really do like using Seismitoad a lot of fun it's a lot of fun to use it's water and ground type with muddy water and earth power both for stab sludge bomb and grass knot for two really cool coverage moves so cannot wait to showcase this pokemon dynamax him and get him in probably every single battle right next to him is going to be kyogre do i really have to say anything about kyogre not really you guys already know the moves you guys already know the ability but the only thing i want to say about this one is it's item this one is assault vested most of the time they're choice scarf or like mystic water or life orb just something to give it a damage use but this one's just here with the assault vest to circle some shots and stay in the battle a little bit longer so that's pretty cool Middle left is going to be Cinderace, Library of Cinderace. You guys already know this Pokemon is an absolute unit. This thing is phenomenal in Dynamax form and really good, but it's not Dynamax. It's got Lumberry as the item and then just a coverage move set. Well, technically not coverage because every time it uses a move, it's going to change typing. So it'll get a stab boost with every single move. It's got Flare Blitz, Bounce, High Jump Kick, and Sucker Punch for first turn priority. Right next to him is going to be a Choice Specs Tapu Lele. Get Surge Control with its ability. Then it's got Moonblast, Psychic, Dazzle Beam, and Shadow Ball. This thing hits hard and is pretty quick at the same time. So cannot wait to get that thing into battles, do some big damage, and pick up some KOs with that Pokemon. Bottom left is going to be probably one of the best Ultra Beasts, which is an Ultra Beast that I haven't used in a while. And I really do like this Pokemon. It's Kartana, Beast Boost ability, Chopple Berry as an item. And then we got Leaf Blade, Smart Strike, Sacred Sword, and Protect for this thing's moveset. I love using Kartana. I just think it's great all around, especially once you pick up KO with that thing, it gets that attack boost and it just keeps getting stronger, stronger, and stronger. It's basically like the Moxie ability, but I just think Kartana is better due to its typing. Final Pokemon for the squad is going to be Wimscott, our support mod. Probably our only support mod for the squad. Everybody else hits pretty hard. We got the size Seismitoad with the Life Orb. Kai Ogre, which you guys already know, Kai Ogre hits like a truck in the main. Libreo Cinderace is just a unit. Tapu Lele with the choice specs to get that special attack boost. Kartana is just a straight attacker. So yeah, only support mod is going to be Wimsicott over here. We got Prankster. We got the Focus Ash. We got Moonblast for our only hitting move. Tailwind for speed control. Trick Room for more speed control if we need it. And Helping Hand just to help ally Pokemon do a little bit more damage. Guys, you want to try this team for yourself? We got that rental code down at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Swift Swim Seismitoad team. Swift Swim Seismitoad coming at you guys. Battle number one on its way. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here. We are high up in that master tier. I am 1,929. This guy is 861, I think it said. I think it said 861, but this guy's looking pretty good. He's got a solid, solid meta team right here. He's got Zacian, Landorus, Ndidi, Galeri, Moltres, Rillaboom, and Incineroar. He's definitely going to be bringing that Rillaboom. I might just lead Liberos in race, but Wimscott is 100% going to be one of our leads. We're going to rock out with that and then get Wolven from there. So we're going to go there. I'm going to go Liberos in race, and I might bring the Rain Squad here. The Rain Squad could be great, but something I really have to look out for is going to be that That Rillaboom is definitely scary, so... Maybe he leads it. Maybe he goes after it that way. But I think Dynamax Pokemon is going to be our Cinderace. I think Cinderace is definitely going to come in here and Dynamax and just roll out from there. But it really depends who he leads. Because he has two Intimidates. Two Intimidates. I think he leads an Intimidate Mon alongside with a uh, Rillaboom. Might just be his play. Might just be his play. But we have to get rid of that Rillaboom if we really want to win this battle. Because then we can just roll in with a Swift Swim combo in the back end. And pretty much just uh, be in a great position. But again, it depends who he goes into. Rillaboom's 100% coming. He's definitely bringing Rillaboom. He's definitely bringing an Intimidate Mon. He's definitely bringing Sassian. And I would guess Galarian Moltres. Galarian Moltres, it's really good all around. Great Dynamax Pokemon. Good with probably weakness policy. I could see it holding that. But sometimes it doesn't even need it because it has that Berserk ability. Which works super, super well. But we shall see. We shall see who he goes into. His lead's going to be... Come on, jump roll, please. Moltres along with Intimidate. Okay, so he does not lead the... Uh, the Rillaboom. It does not lead the Rillaboom at all. So I could just Dynamax Cinderace, like I said, if I wanted to. Do I want to? Do I want to? I could definitely change typings. Could take a speed boost, but that's the thing. If we go... Is he going to drop a rock? That's the real question. Is he going to drop a rock? Because if he drops a rock, I wouldn't mind it. 
Because I could change into... Actually, no. We don't want him to drop a rock. We want him to go to for a ground move, which I think he might go for. So if I can outspeed and just go for a G-Max Fireball, I could do some big damage. Hmm. Could do some big damage. I'm trying to think. I'll go for the G-Max Fireball and look for KO. I could definitely see him Dynamax in the burn. Well, you know, we are going to go. We're going to stay with our fire type. And maybe he thinks we're switching. Maybe he thinks we're doing something else. We are minus one, but I'm totally cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. Cinder still hits really, really hard with base 160 move. It's just great all around. So we outspeed. We're on the board. We're getting on the board here. Definitely scared of this good dude's team. Last thing, he might drop a rock. He's, he's got to drop a rock, right? Rock's definitely scaring me, man. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking of changing flying, but then if he drops a rock, it would just be super effective. But it's still super effective to my fire type. Let's see if he dynamaxes. He is going to end up dynamaxing. And I think it's going to be the bird, right? Actually, no. I really do think it's going to be Landers. Landers is just a perfect Pokemon to be dynamax here. He could change up weather. He could do a lot here. Let's see. It is going to be Landers. Mm. He's 100% dropping that rock, right? Dropping the rock, going into a flying move, trying to get buffs to take off Sash. Could 1,000% be the play, but we shall see. We shall see. We're definitely going to take 100% speed with this Tailwind here. And Mulch is going to protect. Okay, I'm with this turn all day. I'm with this turn all day. So he wasted a turn out there. We have Tailwind control. We have speed. I'm just hoping he doesn't take out my Cinderace in one shot. I was thinking of just changing the flying, thinking he's going for a ground move. That would probably be the play, right? Let's see. But see, let's see how much damage this does. Not as much as I wanted to do. Not as much as I want to do. And he's going for an airstream. He's going for straight for an airstream. And I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that because we eat that up all day. We still have speed on this guy. Um, what do I do from here? I could go for a darkness and just try to get off some KOs. Hmm. Speed boost him. We, we're still fine here. We're still fine here. I'm just going to go for a moon blast. Go for that thing. And go help him. What do I do? Go after the bird. I think going after bird to play. Another airstream will KO me. So I could guard. I could definitely guard. No, we're just going to do this. I'm, oh, I can't guard. I do not have max guard. What you mean? Uh, I'm just going to go for this moon blast into you. I'm going to double down into you so we can guarantee myself picking up this KO. And then we'll just go for this uh, max darkness and get this special defense drop. That's exactly what we're going to do. We'll get the special defense drop just so we can roll in here with the tailwind. And pretty much take out the, uh, that what's it called? That bird next turn. The Cinderace is definitely going to go down here soon. Tough little matchup. Here. Tough little matchup. Landorus is just super, super good. But there's the max darkness. We're just chipping away some damage. And I just want that special uh, defense drop. Just wanted it. I just wanted it. Because now Moonblast can do a little bit more. It might proc, proc Berserk, which could be tough for us. But it's all good. It's all good. Now, Yeet send us this way. Bop. Look at that damage, dude. Whimsicott. Chill on him. Doing some big damage. Proc's weakness policy. I'm cool with that because I think Landorus comes into my Cinderace. And then, uh, Glary and Mulchess is going to trigger our, our Focus Ash. At that point, we still outspeed, right? Let's see. Air Slash coming in here. Give me my Focus Ash. We love it. Unless he drops a rock. Unless he drops a rock, and that could be scary. Do not drop a rock, because I would love to get one more turn uh, down with my Wimscott. He's going to go for an Airstream. Is he doubling down on Wimscott? He's going in for me. Okay. So that's exactly what I thought was going to happen. I'm totally cool by that. They're plus two. We're still in Tailwind. So I think speed is like even. It's even now. So it really depends. Wimscott should be fast on the field. Should be able to take out Moltres, no problem. And I think we just bring out... Can we just bring out Kyogre at this point? Can we just bring out Kyogre, right? Can we just bring out Kyogre. I'm with it. I'm with it all day. We'll bring out Kyogre. We'll try to get some damage pouring out on this. I wonder if he outspeeds. I wonder if this Pokemon outspeeds. I know Wimscott outspeeds, so Wimscott can just take out Moltres all day. But I wonder if he outspeeds this, this Landorus. Let me see this thing's speed. It's going to be kind of close because Landorus is not like the fastest Pokemon. Do I even go for a water spout? I don't even think I go for a water spout. I think I straight up go for a origin pulse just in case this, what's it called? Just in case this, uh, he outspeeds me and does some damage. He has physical attack and so a soul vest really won't do anything. I still think we're sitting in a great position. But just say we have, if we can just get rid of his Dynamax, we have our Swift Swim Pokemon in the back with the life orb. Could be really, really good. We'll see how this one plays. We'll see how this one plays. So, obviously, like I said, Wimscott is fastest on the field. Wimscott's going to go. He's going to say bye-bye to Moltres all day. Moltres, get on that one. Moltres is gone. And come on, yo, Kyogre out me. I don't think he is. 118 just seems a little low. Yeah, see, he's going to go first. He's going to go straight for Max Wake. Get that special defense boost. And Kyogre should be able to eat this up, right? 
Hasty Snacky. Hasty Snack. He gets a special defense boost, but I still think we KO. I still think we KO here, right? Origin Pulse comes through. We do. Awesome. Cool. Great. Okay, so we're sitting in such a good spot right here. I really do like where we're sitting. I think Tailwind might end. And if not, we still have speed. So uh, Origin Pulse should be able to come out here first. Unless he has Rillaboom. Oh, no. If he has Rillaboom, we lose. If he has Rillaboom, we lose. He definitely has Rillaboom. I totally forgot about that thing. Oh, my lord, no. God dang it, dude. Hate Rillaboom. I hate Rillaboom. I do not like this Pokemon. It's too good. It is way too strong. It has Surge Raid Roll. I wish we would have brought Tapu Lele at this point. Just hop in here and take Surge Control. But it is over with. We definitely lost this one. Hands down. He can just grassy guide. He can do so much work on me. I'm just going to Moon Blast into it, I guess. And I don't even know what to do. I guess we'll Ice Beam, but dude, obviously Grass Guide's coming out here. It's GG's. And it's GG's, right? Unless he fakes out Wimscott and he gives me a free Ice Beam. I just don't see that happening. Dude. I just think he glides into me and then he Behemoth Blades and it's just GG's from there. So first battle, definitely tough one. Definitely a tough one, but hey, we're going to hop into the second and third one. And look to grab ourselves some wins. Just tough up in this high ladder, man. These guys are so good. These guys are definitely so good. And they're all using just like heavy meta teams. Like, this team has a few meta Pokemon, but it's, like, not really. You know, Kartana's not really meta anymore. Size of Toad's obviously not meta. Tapu Lele, 100% no. But he's going to do some big damage. Grass, or Sacred Sword's going to come out here. He's going to turn into a 2v1, and he can just Grass Guy take me out, no problem. No problem he can take me out. I would have speed, but, yo, Grass Guy's ridiculously strong. It's base, what is it, like, base 70, 80? It's base 70 or 80. It's first turn priority. It's stab. And it has the terrain damage boost. Like, come on. They really had to add this, uh, make this Rillaboom this broken. It really is broken if you think about it. But I could Sludge Bomb. I know we're dead in one shot unless he misses, right? But you can't miss a Grassy Guide. I don't think, I don't think you can. I don't think Grassy Guide is missable. Grassy Guide's coming out here. Soak it up. Nah, it's four times super effective. It's over. GG's, like I said. Let's hop into our second battle. Let's look to grab ourselves the first one for today's video. That roll boom definitely did us dirty here in battle number one. We're hopping into our second battle, looking for our first win for today's video. Going up against a uh, a pretty cool Shadow Rider Calyrex team with a uh, Whimsicott, Urshfu, Rotom Heat, Amoongus, and Landorus. I think just going straight in the rain could work well. I think it could work well just going straight into rain. I mean, he might lead Amoongus, which could be a little scary. He might lead Whimsicott as well, but what do we do from there? Um, I think we just go into both of these. I think that that works really well. We could go into our Whimsicott. Wimscott could be pretty solid, but I am going to go into Liberio Cinderace because it just works super, super well. And then last but not least, I could go into you, but I feel like Kartana is just going to be great. I do like Kartana, but, mm, but the Lele, man. But Lele is nice. Let's go Lele. Let's go in with our choice specs Lele and try to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. We didn't bring Kartana yet, but we'll bring him in here in the third battle after we win this one. You know what? I'm promising you guys we'll win here in battle number two. We're doing this guy dirty. We're getting our work done, and we're grabbing ourselves a win here. At first battle, we kind of stayed in there, and then, of course, he threw Real Boom in, in that back end. Of course he did. I was just like, oh, dude, it's over with. It's over with. But I feel like I figured out the way to kind of counter it with uh, this team. It's just like, bring Lele and just take out uh, Terrain Control. When going with these two, he's probably going to Tailwind. Um, what can I do from here? I think I just Dynamax the, the Toad, right? Do I just Dynamax the Toad here? And go into, like, an Origin Pulse? Right? Probably our play. Dynamax, the lovely Toad. I could just go straight into a geyser. Like, what Pokemon does he have in the back end that can really soak up a geyser? Amoongus? Do we really think he's swapping it into Amoongus? No. I don't even think he brought Amoongus. So I'm just going to Dynamax. I'm going to go straight for this. Or I could... I could Quake. Quake isn't a bad move because we do get that uh, special defense boost with both these being special defense Pokemon. And we'll just drop an Origin Pulse here. Just in case the Calyrex Dynamaxes, I do think that Wimscott is sashed anyway. So we'll see. I think we're going to see a Dynamax from him maybe. And we're going to see a Tailwind poke out. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But I really want to go into that Geyser. But I was just like, yo, Special Defense Boost could really come in clutch. Especially with our boy Kyogre having the Assault Vest. An Assault Vest plus a Special Defense Boost. Most Special Attackers are not going to do a lot of damage to me. And that's really going to throw off people. Because they're so used to just heavy hitting Kyogres and not being able to soak up shots. Even though he kind of does soak up a little bit of shots, but it's just a big old special defense one. It's awesome. But I wonder who he's going to attack, because both these Pokemon really do pose a threat. And good thing we did double down into them. I'm really glad we doubled down into this Pokemon. By going in with the Origin Pulse and going in with him. Because he is Dynamax, and that was my, my whole thing. 
he might dynamo back so like let's get off some big damage on them hopefully he's not guarding he's gonna go helping hand so who are you going after we do outspeed you so we are going to be special defense boosted and i think we should be totally fine here i think we should be able to soak up the shot all day he doesn't have tailwind set up i'm liking this i'm liking this get off some lovely damage with that this Ky kyogre doesn't outspeed us. but if he is going after me we should be able to soak up a shot unless he has like max over which we still might be able to soak up. Like I said, Assault Vest alongside with that special defense. And he does have Overgrowth. Who are you going after? He's going after Kyogre. Kyogre, I think he soaked this up, right? All day, yo. Look at that. Look at that, yo. Big old beefy. Why'd I have a feeling that this thing had max Overgrowth? I think it learns like one grass. Move. This guy decided to have it. He's going to show that's Orbit. How much damage are we going to do with Origin Boost? Who dodges that? Wim's got, okay, Wim's got dodge. That's totally fine. I don't mind Wim's got I really want to do damage on you like that. And then go from there. So I could swap Kyogre. I could indeed swap Kyogre here. I could indeed swap Kyogre. If I wanted to. I could just go straight for an Ooze. I mean, Ooze could be nice. And then keep Kyogre. I mean, we could bring Cinderace in the back end here. Kind of roll from there. In case this thing goes down. You no, know, I'm just going to go for Origin Pulse. And I'm just going to Ooze. The Cinderace has Sucker Punch. I could just take that thing out whenever I want. Whenever I want. So I think Tailwind comes out here. Yep, there's the Tailwind. He knows that, like, okay, he might target my Wimscott. Let me set up this Tailwind. Tailwind's going to poke. He's going to be able to outspeed. He's going to go for an over. Now, who are you going after on this one? Back to Kyogre. He's going to go to Size Blur, which is four time. Can you soak that? Oh, my lord. I really don't soak that. Get out of my face. I really don't soak that at all. Four times super effective. It's understandable, but still. That's some big damage. That's some big damage. That was over 400 HP. Now we're going straight into this origin pulse here, and Kalex is going to go down. And we're going to get off some damage onto Whimsicott. Kalex goes down, Whimsicott is going to drop down very, very soon. And no Dynamax is on the field. He does have Tailwind, so we can bring out whoever he wants to kind of speak so, And I could bring out... I could bring out Lele. I could definitely bring out Lele here. Hmm. Do I bring out the top of Lele and save my Cinderace? Lele could be good, dude. Because Kyogre is really the one posing a threat. We know Wimscott can't take him out here. I'm going to go in with the Lele here. Tapu Lele, baby. And yo, great call, yo. Lele comes in, baby. Lele comes in when he's throwing out Urshifu. Gotta love it. Got to love it. And honestly, that's water Urshifu. That's kind of tough, to be honest with you. Because he has speed, and I cannot protect. I mean, obviously, I want to go into a Gleam here. You know, I'm just going to go for a Thunder. We can get off the stunner, this could be good, but it's we're sitting in a tough position because this Urshfu is going to take me out here. He's going to go helping hand, and he's going to go into certain strikes and take out my lane. lane. We know that's happening. It goes into close combat. Okay. I'm actually so with that. I wanted that to happen more than more than uh him hit my lele. I'm with that all day because now this Gleam pokes out here. It should be able to take out Urshfu and probably that one's got two. Yep, double kill. Look at that. Look at that. That is exactly why. That is exactly why I didn't mind him taking out my Kyogre. I was like, if he takes out my Lele here, we will get off an Origin Pulse, but he will stop Pokemon alive. But now we're sitting in a 2v1 situation. Awesome, yo. Choice Specs Tapu Lele was the call. Great call, Jeans. He brings out Rotom Heat in the rain. In the rain! My Cinderace comes out in the rain, but yo, we can change typings. Do whatever we want here. And we can just go into a Gleam, which is not very effective, but it still should be able to chip out some damage. And I'm just going to go for Sucker Punch here. I'm going to change my type in the dark. I'm just going to go for Sucker Punch. I think he might cancel battle. No, none of us have Dynamax anymore. Sucker Punch comes through here. And he's not attacking. Is he going for a plot? You? Oh, there. Oh, there, buddy. Oh, there, buddy. I mean, I think we just got to keep uh, Sucker Punching him and Gleaming. The Gleam's going to come out here. How much damage? Okay, Gleam does a nice chunk. And I think we win this battle. I think we win this battle now. I think we win this battle now. Because Sucker Punch is going to come out here. He has no double-hitting moves. And anytime he wants to, if whenever he goes for a hit, he's gonna have to take the sucker punch. Which sucker punch, I think might just be able to drop him in one shot. It's gonna be cool. He really plot. He really dropped the nasty spot. Sucker punch comes out here. We're changing typings. Liberio coming out here. How much damage are we doing? Okay, so it's this guy's call. Oh, he has to bury. Who are you going after? Who are you going after? Another sucker punch might be able to kill that. He goes for thunderbolt into Cinderace. Yep, Cinderace. And this Gleam should be able to KO, right? Does this Gleam KO? Does this Gleam KO? I think it does, right? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Thank the Lord. Oh, we get a crit. We get a crit. Thank you, Pokey Gods. Thank you very much. But yo, top of Lele coming in there, clutching up MVP for the battle, and we grab ourselves the first win for today's video. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves a winning record for today's video and try to showcase Seismitoad off a little bit more. We died a maximum in that last battle, but you know, that max overgrowth really doesn't dirty. It's four times super effective and just dumped on him super, super easily, even with a uh, special defense boost. But this guy has Shadow Rider Calyrex yet again, so we're going back to back battles against it. And then he has Thunderous, Rotom Mo, Tapu Fini, Metagross, and Intimidate Incineroar. Okay, I think he might lead Incineroar. Incineroar might be a lead. We could lead these two. But say the Rotom comes in here. What would we do if the Rotom does come in here as a leaf? Because well, Rotom's scary. Like, the, the Leaf Storm will just totally get after me. Or Max Overgrowth could definitely just, like, do me dirty. So I really got to watch out for that. I really got to watch out for that. He might lead the instant war. He has a bunch of different leads he could actually do. So you know what? I'm going to actually end up leading. Hmm. I really want to bring Kartana. Let's lead Kartana here. I mean, Kartana's really not the play here. Actually, his speed's not that good, so we don't even need Wimscott. I say we just bring this squad in here. I say we lead Kartana and Cinderace. And see if we can get rocking out with that. Because if we lead Shadow Rider Calyrex, a Sucker Punch could really do him in. Could really do him in and put us off, on to, off to a great start. And then have her swift some Pokemon in the back end. But if he goes into a Rotom Mel, we really pose that threat with that Cinderace. We outspeed it all day. And a G-Max Fireball or just a Pyro Ball can do some big damage onto it. So we shall see. What's this dude's lead? He's going to end up leading Rotom and Incineroar, so... I mean, mm, it's it's alright. It's alright, I guess. It's alright. I mean, he intimidates both of us, which is kind of tough. But he does lead that Rotom, which we could do some damage off. Which I think he's either going to protect or swap, right? He's got to either protect or swap you, right? In this case, I'm just going to go straight for a Sacred Sword. And I'm going to double down into this thing. I'm doubling down into this Pokemon. Incineroar's going to fake me out. Dang it, you buttery biscuit. And what's he doing? Maybe plotting? At this point, Sacred Sword's gonna come poke here. Get off some big damage. Half it. That's a great half. Is this thing Citrus Berry? It's not. And he's gonna plot up. So this thing's plotting up here. And in this case, in this case, we just Sacred Sword because another Sacred Sword will KO that. And we just go for a Pyro Ball because we know we can uh, get off some big damage. I'm with it all day. We're not Pyro Ball. We can just Flare Butts. What do we Dynamax? No, we're not gonna Dynamax. We're just gonna straight for just Flare Butts. Yeah, this one plays. See, yo, I'm like, I'm like where we're sitting here. This is a not, not a bad first turn, even though we set up a nice spot. We have a Swift Swim combo in the back end. And if we can just get off one Flare Butts, I feel like a Max Ooze or something can just finish off the road time as we can take the speed control, you know? So let's see how this one plays. No Dynamax comes out here. So Flare Butts is going to fly. I think this picks up a KO, right? Even minus one? It does not. Ooh. Oh, we don't like that. We don't like that. That's that's a little rough. So he does have a berry. That does not pick up a KO. Probably should have Dynamax then. If we would have Dynamax, we could have been sitting in a beautiful spot. But Sacred Sword should be able to pick up a KO. Can we get it? What you mean? Ah! I did that. I did that. What? You just get... No, stop. We get low rolls. Low rolling out here? Out my face. Out my face. He picks up an easy double KO. But hey, I still think we're sitting good. I still think we're sitting pretty still think we're simple that is so whack so whack he gets damaged by recall we're bringing out the rain squad we're bringing out the rain squad no way no way we don't even care with that incineroar get out my face get on out my face so he still has a dynamax um we have our dynamax we're dynamaxing our seismitoad here all day we'll take out the rotom with like a ooze get a special attack boost for our lovely little kyogre he's gonna send out calorie and this is a pain this is a pain because we should still have our cinderace because, you know, I I, I would think that Floribus should have KO'd that thing. And then we could just, you know, suck a punch into that. Mm, mm, mm. Bum, 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 bum. It's a play. It's Gene's player. Play is probably going to be, you know, just... No, not Dynamax. I think play is just going to be straight up Origin. Then, you know, drop one at ease, right? Drop one at ease. Get that special attack boost. And then we will have our soul vest. So I think Kyogre should be able to eat up whatever he wants. And will this Calyrex have overgrowth? That's the scary part. Will this Calyrex have overgrowth? That is the scary part. I think that decides the battle here. But yeah, I can't believe. Like, I understand our Flare Blitz maybe not KO because I think it was at full health. But our first Sacred Sword already did more than half that Incineroar's health. So that was a little rough. He's going to end up Dynamaxing. Please don't be the Rotom. No, it's got to be the Calyrex, right? It's got to be Cali. 
California, hey, knows how to party. And he Dynamax is ro oh, dude, I can't do it. I cannot do it. Hopefully, our boy can outspeed our Kyogre. If that's the case, because I don't think it's Uzi KO in this thing. No, I think it's Uzi KO on. Speed swap. Oh, no. This dude's doing me dirty. We still outspeed him. We need this to KO now. We need this to KO. Do him dirty. Nope, no shot. And he's going after. He's KOing whoever he hits. He's KOing whoever he hits. Let's make this happen. What's he going for? Overgrowth? Yeah, okay. So he's going to take out my lovely. Oh, no. He goes after Kyogre. Can we eat that? We need his nasty plot it. Assault vest, baby. Assault vest all day. Assault vest all day. Goes after Kyogre. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Let's go, Kyogre. Get off some big damage. Cannot miss. Calyrex dodges. Can we take out the Rotom with that? Oh, oh my lord. Oh my lord. What? Wait, what? 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 What is going on? He's gonna guard, right? Do we read the guard? Do we read the guard? I think that's our only way out here. Oh my lord, that rock top should be so on He's on one. Yo, we're having a rough RNG day today. It's a good theme though. Do we read the guard? Hmm. I think we just go with simple play. Let's go with simple play. We go with simple play. Simple play it is. Thunder's gonna poke, poke here. That's the same guarding. Mmm. Mmm. Knew it, yo. I knew it. I knew we had to make a hard read there. How much is the Origin Pulse gonna do here? Can it connect onto the Thunders, please? Thank you. Oi. Uh, yes, sir. Run it. Run it all day. Run it all day. Run all day. Let's go, Seismitoad. So, Seismitoad's not playing no games out here. I'm curious. Does this thing get its own speed back? If it speed swaps and then comes back in? Okay. So, it didn't matter if we read it or not. It did not matter. In this case, you know, we are dropping another Origin Pulse. And... What do I do from here? Maybe just... No, we cannot quake. This thing's levitated. Uh, I guess we'll ooze. I mean, ooze is probably our best play. Give this, uh... Give this Kyogre another special attack boost. Astral Barrage, you outspeed me. Wow. Wow, you outspeed me. Even in the rain. For whack. He outspeeds me. And now, I think we... I think we lose this battle. You do some whack RNG, man. You do some whack rolls. So we take you out. It comes down to... Well, you outspeed me. This thing outspeeds. This thing really outspeeds me. We gotta hope a muddy water can just like you know pick up a KO here. I just realized this thing is special attacking. So we could, we could one tap this thing. We just gotta be able to eat up a shot. I really, I think I just realized this thing special attacking. I'm just so used to them being physical attacking, but I just realized okay, we have, when I said muddy water, I was like, wait, that's a special attacking move. We're plus two. Can we soak up a shot? We know. Oh my god, dude, this thing's. Quick. We just for the Astro Brush. Can you eat this up? I don't think we're going to be able to eat this up. Soak it up somehow. No dirty. Eat it up. Oh, my lord. Come on, yo. Out my face. Out my face. Solid battles for today. RNG was just not on our side. One and two for today's video. Ended up grabbing ourselves a losing record, but all the battles that we lost were actually really, really close. That first battle, he ended up just having Rillaboom to counteract us. Second battle, we ended up clutching up with that Tapu Lele. And then third and final battle came to inches. It came to inches. I'm actually surprised that uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex can outspeed a Swift Swim Seismito. That honestly blows my mind. That honestly blows my mind because we probably would have had that win being plus two Muddy Water in the rain with that Life Orb. It should have just been able to just KO it, but still super surprised, I think, uh, outsped me, and it came down to the wire, so I thought it was a good battle all around. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you do enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me, and if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.